Alright, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the build of my bat van. And uh, today's going to be a fun day. The mattress arrived. It's all rolled up in plastic. So we're going to peel that plastic off, set it on the platform, spread it out and let it do its thing, swell up and hopefully uh, it fits and it's a nice cushiony, soft, comfortable bed. Yeah, Batman likes to sleep. So, we're going to go ahead and do that, and then once the bed's installed and everything, and while that's doing its thing, we will uh, begin on the cabinet here on the top. So, uh, I'm going to do three frames. We'll have two more doors, and we'll get that in there, butt it up against the side of our cabinet here, and hopefully everything kind of fits, no gaps and all that good stuff. If there is a little crease or a gap, let me show you what I'm talking about. So on this section right here, when I put that other cabinet up against here, if there is some sort of a gap in here where the cabinets aren't laying, you know, because of the ceiling and everything else, and it's in a van, uh, we'll probably cover that up with some sort of trim. So that's what our plan is today. Get the bed installed, start on this cabinet, hopefully get it done within a couple of days, uh, dry time for Mike, all that good stuff and the doors and latches and hinges and handles. Eh, I don't have the other two handles. I gotta order those. So, we'll get those done and on the way. And uh, once we get all that finished, then we can start building on the furniture. And by the furniture, I mean the cabinetry for the kitchen area, cabinet or the seating area, and uh, drawers and all that good stuff. So let's get started, because I'm sure You've waited long enough and listened to me babble on, so let's do it. fit and I can lay across that sideways and still have plenty of room I sleep in a fetal position anyway all right they say it take about three hours and uh, maybe overnight it'll all be inflated or expanded and uh, should look nice and tight so it's got a nice fit 54 inches by 70 yeah, I'm liking that. Good deal. Good fit. All right, on to the cabinet.
All right, so now we got things all together, glued and screwed, and uh, ready for some final sanding. Get some paint on there, and then we can uh, put our skin on. Once the skin's on, install the doors, hardware, struts, and uh, get it installed in the van. So I'm looking forward to uh, getting that done. It does fit and uh, looks pretty good. So it's going to butt up right next to the other cabinet really nice with a very minimal seam. So that worked out good. All right, let's go ahead and get this sanded and painted. And uh, next shot you guys will see, I'll probably be putting the skin on this. I got three sides, this one, the face, and the bottom. The other side is going to be bare because it butts right up against the uh, other cabinet, so that'll never be seen. And I do have all my holes pre-drilled for my wiring and to come out for the other cabinet. So all my wiring will run through. Yeah, starting to come along. All right, it got dark out. And I did manage to get some primer on. And uh, next we're ready for the top coat. So we'll have to do that sometime tomorrow. And then we can start laying out the laminate. In the meantime, I went ahead and just kind of rigged up my little Oakmo 1000 watt portable power station. And I thought I would test out my lights again. And with all the cabinets in there, really brightens things up. <laughs> and that's only half the lights. So there'll be a couple more in the front. And I will probably have one once I build this shelf over here. I'll probably have one right over near the doorway. But yeah, I'm thinking that looks pretty cool. All right, so we've got our Formica sheets cut, and now we're getting ready to glue those bad boys on there. So I've got my pan, my roller, got my glue, and we are ready. And my other pieces are over here. So we're going to start here, and then we'll do the bottom, and then we'll do the face. And uh, we'll get all that on, and then we'll worry about the doors. So let's, uh, let's get to laminating.